Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your July tarot reading. We're going to see what energies come through here for you. We're going to get a full picture. I'm going to pull some general oracle messages. Then we'll pull some tarot. We'll get specific messages in love and also money and career. And then we'll see what you don't see coming for the month of July. So with that, Pisces, let's get started. Let's see what the energy is for you. Okay. You have the washed away card. Okay. Now this could tell me it could be an emotional uh, month here. Uh, but it can also tell me something's happening pretty quickly. So before I say any more, let me pull more cards, see what else comes through here for you. What else can you share with Pisces? Oh, wow. You're going to you're going to find there's someone in I'm seeing an energy I feel it could potentially be a love interest. Some of you could be related to money and career. Take it how it resonates. But there is some sort of offer. Okay, now if it's a love offer, we have a king of pentacles here. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Somebody who's pretty grounded, well-to-do, could uh, do well with money. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. You could develop feelings for this person very, very fast fast okay kind of that energy where right from the get-go you may have feelings for this person so I see either a love offer now some of you this could be uh, related to money and career if you are looking for a job this could tell me pretty quickly an offer is coming in now I do feel like spirit is leading you through this situation whether it's a love offer or a job situation. So this could be a transition for you. We got number 32, which is 5, 43, which is 7. Those numbers may be important for you in July. Now you also have here a leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So uh, some sort of offer. It's a new beginning. Some of you, you may feel it's a little bit risky but something happens very quickly with this energy so let's pull your tarot let's see what else comes through here for you thank you spirit what else can you share with pisces what else does pisces need to know wow what is going on here pisces there's your energy. Okay. Woo. The tower. Oh my gosh. You got the seven of cups and the devil here. Okay. Yeah. Something here, a lot of emotion. Now this, this could tell me this is just Capricorn energy, but I'm also feeling like there could be other options around you. And I'm going to say here, I feel like be careful because there is some energies around you that may not be healthy, okay? Or they may be people who are not somebody who is consistent. Could be somebody here who uh, takes advantage. We do have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. There's somebody here I feel in your energy. Either not, they're not letting go, which I feel like the last Pisces energy. There's somebody around you. Either you're having a hard time letting this person go or, or vice versa. And I feel like there's an opportunity, a new energy coming in for you. But something kind of keeps you trapped and stuck is what I'm seeing. You do have uh, the moon card, your energy. So I feel like you're really going to have some choices and options. And it may be both in money and love. You do have a queen of swords. You have a king of swords. And you also have here a four of pentacles. Someone, I feel like you're going to be communicating here with somebody. 
somebody who's going to try to keep you in a stuck energy i just have to say you do yeah you have the tower and the knight of cups see look at that the, the Tower, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So a situation where maybe you have felt stuck or you know that there's something unhealthy or the behavior of someone you were dealing with, I feel in the past. That energy is still around you. Now, it could just tell me you're thinking about it. It could tell me that that person still contacts you, but they don't really give a whole lot. They keep you stuck. They may be kind of deceptive or manipulative. But what Spirit is showing you here is that the Divine is trying to lead you. Look at that. Door to Spirit. The Divine's trying to lead you towards something new. Like I said, there's a new offer coming in. And look, it shows here. This is upcoming energy. Look at that. Romantic offer. And you also have here the King of Pentacles. This is that energy. So I feel like there's someone new coming into your life, Pisces. I feel spirits trying to remove this energy. Like I said, it just could be your thinking, having a hard time moving on from a past situation. But I feel there's a new romantic situation coming in for you. You are, I feel like you're going to develop feelings for this person pretty quickly. See, look, this person's going to be highly attracted to you here. Eight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, and you also have here the Sun card, Strong Leo energy. So I'm picking up Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Strong Leo, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as this new energy. And this is Leo season. So this could tell me during Leo season or even summer, which we're in the start of summer here in the U.S., you're going to see a shift here. It's almost like spirit is leading you through this door to something solid and something stable and consistent. So let's get into, um, I'm going to pull some more love messages and what you don't see coming. But first, I'm just going to pull a few messages as it relates to money and career. Thank you, spirit. What can you share with Pisces regarding money and career? What can you share with Pisces regarding money and career? All right. <clears throat> okay, it says here, honest work. It's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous. Get some experience to help you move up in the future. Success is a process, process, not a quick fix. That tells me some of you may get a side job. Some of you, you may have a job and maybe just don't feel like it's important. They're saying the bigger picture here is that this is going to help you to that next level or get to the next step. And some of you, like I said, it just may be a side job to make extra money, or maybe it's something that you feel passionate about. You have unfolding. Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. You are growing as you learn more and keep expanding. Yeah, see? There's something about honest work here is helping you gain experience and preparing you for growth and opening you up to more potential to make more money. That's what I see here. You also have here the signs. Ah, oh, look at that with Dora Spirit. You are putting together pieces of the puzzle from signs you are getting. Pay attention to coincidences you experiences, experience. So Spirit is telling you it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that you're seeing the sign or something happens and it makes you do a double take and say, wow, oh, I can't believe that happened. Okay, they're happening for a reason, getting your attention, really hone in in your thoughts and feelings during those moments. So with that, let's see what, uh, let's get some more specific love messages and then we'll see what you don't see coming. Okay, I see a home, property, real estate, residence. Okay, I see fun times and I see hesitation. Now, some of you may be making some sort of home move or purchase. Some of you may be very focused on making a home purchase or selling or even looking at real estate. Some of you just may have an interest right now in real estate. But look at this. 
courting a uh, person here. See, again, somebody who is going to court you. They could be a business professional. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Could wear a uniform as well. They are consistent. It's more of a reliable energy. Um, you're going to meet this person. It says fun times here. So I feel like you could meet this person at some sort of party or event, just something socially where there is people, okay? Not necessarily online. It could be online if you are dating online, but I feel like this is more of a social event where you get invited to some sort of party. So if you get invited to parties, definitely go. You could meet this person there. Now, you have the wallflower there, okay? This talks about uh, hesitation. I do feel like you're going to have a bit of hesitation when you meet this person because as I see in this energy, I feel like there could be a situation or someone you're still thinking about and maybe you've, you're having a hard time letting it go. That's why you have that take that leap of faith. Um, so you, I see like you kind of holding back your energy with this person. But what I have to say, you have mature person. Whoever this is coming into your life, they are mature. Some of you could have been dealing with somebody in the past who was not mature. It could be somebody older than you, or they're just very wise for their age. So Pisces, let's uh, see what you don't see coming. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What can you share with Pisces? What is it that Pisces does not see coming what does pisces not see coming for july oh boy <laughs> oh okay I feel like what Spirit's showing you for July, you're going to have to make a difficult decision. That's what you don't see coming. And it may be because you meet this person and you realize, like, I may have to take a chance on this person. I see a difficult decision here with the Two of Swords. You have the Three of Pentacles. And I feel really what this is, a difficult decision where you're going to have to take the first step. It's that taking that risk, that leap of faith. But it's about building a foundation, okay? Like I said, I feel like you may develop feelings for this person really fast, but it's also about making the decision to also take things slowly and really build a foundation with someone because if it happens too fast, it's not um, a situation where you're gonna have something very stable and long lasting and look, and that it's showing you it's gonna lead you to the 10 of cups energy something that is loving and something that is complete so it's making the di the difficult decision here to take a step and to take it slowly in this new connection okay and i feel like with the wallflower card here i see hesitation but it can also talk about you feeling like i don't know if this has potential right just go out have fun fun times here go out have fun enjoy this person and see how it goes but you'll never know if you don't take that risk so that's what i have for you pisces i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love